بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وی آر ڈسکسنگ کپل آف ایگزامپلز آف اسکیمک اینڈ ہیمریجک اسٹروک ہیئر وی ہیو ملٹیپل ایکسیل سلائسز ٹیکن تھرو برین اینڈ دس از سی ٹی ایگزامینیشن here we can see there is a large low density area in right temporoparietal lobe favoring acute ischemic insult in the distribution of right mca we can also see hyperdense right mca in this region so hyperdense mca sign is positive there is involvement of uh, right sided basal ganglia in this region and uh, due to cytotoxic edema mass effect is appreciated on right lateral ventricle third ventricle because of which there is subtle left sided midline shift while we can see subtle dilatation of left lateral ventricle is also identified so this is an example of acute ischemic insult in the distribution of right mca leading to mass effect on ipsilateral right lateral ventricle and third ventricle with mild left sided midline shift while mild dilatation of left lateral ventricle is also seen now we will see some hemorrhagic strokes here we can see axial images taken through brain and uh, high density lesion is appreciated involving posterior outer aspect of the right thalamus posterior limb of the right internal capsule and posterior portion of the right basal ganglia with mild low density edema around it part of the hemorrhagic component extends into atria and occipital horn of the right lateral ventricle so we have two components number 1 brain parenchymal hemorrhage and number 2 extension of the hemorrhagic component into right lateral ventricle especially in adjacent atria and occipital horn of the right lateral ventricle we can also see that uh, mass effect is appreciated on the portion of body including atria and occipital horn of the right lateral ventricle and uh, third ventricle as well due to which there is mild dilatation of the left lateral ventricle so we have seen hemorrhagic stroke with intraventricular extension of the hemorrhagic component while previously we have seen ischemic insult in the distribution of the right mca here we have a third example where we can see brain pain camel hemorrhage involving right front row parietal lobe anteriorly with the extension of the hemorrhagic component in third ventricle here we can see dilated lateral ventricles third ventricles full of hemorrhagic component fluid fluid level suggesting 
blood csf and there is extension of hemorrhagic component into fourth ventricle as well so hemorrhagic component is noted in fourth ventricle third ventricle and lateral ventricles while there is extension of uh, hemorrhagic component in subarachnoid space in interhemispheric fissure and here we can see gliotic changes are noted in left temporal parietal lobe while bone defect is seen on this side because of previous intervention here we can see this is the area where we can see bone is surgically removed while gliotic changes are noted in this region because of previous intervention here we can see 3d images of the skull this is the bone which is surgically removed here we can see this is normal bone so in all previous cases we have reviewed ischemic insult in the distribution of right MCA then we have seen brain parenchyman hemorrhage involving right thalamus and adjacent portion of the posterior limb of the internal capsule and uh, right basal ganglia with extension of the hemorrhage into atria and occipital horn of the right lateral ventricle while in third case we have seen large hemorrhagic component in right frontal parietal lobe anteriorly with extension of the hemorrhage into ventricular chain that is involvement of the lateral third and fourth ventricle and subarachnoid space while gliotic changes because of old trauma or uh, ischemic or hemorrhagic insult in left temporal parietal lobe for which the surgery was performed which can be seen as a bone defect in this region thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullah